Good morning, my students. How are you this morning? Hope you are all fine. So, uh, welcome to my video. So I deliberately record this video for you, so you can listen and learn the materials based on my presentation first, and later we will discuss some topics or some some issues that you think we need to discuss later in the next meeting. Okay, so uh, I will probably mix the language. Uh, sometime I'm going to use English as now, but later in some slide I'm going to switch to Bahasa Indonesia to help you understand my explanation easily. All right, so let's start. Yeah, again, welcome to my class, uh, Digital Literacy class. So this is actually a new course in our university, uh, Universitas Riau, and this course has just started this semester so you are actually the first generation learning a new course called digital literacy and why digital literacy becomes a compulsory course in Nuptas Riau I think this is more because we are not living in a new situation a new era with new development in terms of technology new challenges so as a new generation I think you need to be equipped with this digital literacy. So I'm Aprianto. Uh, you can see uh, from my slide, I got some social media account. So actually, I'm showing you that I am practicing the digital literacy itself because I'm trying to be an active uh, social media user. So you can just follow me or add me in Instagram or uh, uh, you can subscribe my YouTube channel so we can keep connected in the internet. All right, let's move on. So there are three topics that I'm going to discuss in this presentation. I'm going to talk in general what is literacy. Okay, before we talk about digital literacy, but what is literacy in general? And then I'm going to contextualize my presentation in the context of 21st century thinking skills. As I said, that we are now living in the new era, new situation, new challenges, uh, new new century with new op opportunities as well actually all right and later at the end of this presentation i'm going to specifically discuss digital literacy what is it about okay let's start first with literacy so in bahasa indonesia literacy or literacy can be understood as this one so what is literacy it can be simply Define or it can be simply translated to this one keberaksaraan or melek ya yeah, or keterpahaman so when we call about digital literacy is somebody who is melek teknologi ya yeah, the one who understand teknologi teknologi the one who understand digital technology who can use the digital technology who can uh, communicate using digital technology and thing like that okay so literacy simply means as keter, keberaksaraan. However, long time ago, when we talk about literacy, people tend to think of these three things. Okay, reading, writing, and counting. All right. But today, when we talk about literacy, it's beyond these three, three things. Not yeah, reading is part of literacy, of course. Writing is part of literacy, and counting is part of literacy. But literacy today beyond reading, beyond writing, and beyond counting. And and why digital literacy become one of the topics, everyone? This is especially after World Economic Forum in 2015 launched or proposed some ideas in relation to what kind of skills people need to live and to survive in the 21st century and these are some skills that new generation or people living in the 21st century need to master the first part is called foundational literacies okay what are included in foundational literacies 
The first one is literacy itself. This is the, the old literacy that we have. This is related to writing, reading, or reading and writing ability, okay? So numeracy is related to ability to count numbers, okay? But after technology development, we have the new literacy, it's called ICT literacy. So now when we talk about digital literacy, this is actually related to ICT literacy. So an ability to understand, an ability to use, an ability to communicate using digital literacy. So how people can make use of the advancement of digital technology for their life. Okay, and not only that, well, Economic Forum also proposed another kind of literacy is called scientific literacy. This is more about thinking scientifically. Okay, uh, scientific li literacy, for example, can be seen from how, how, uh, what, what you are going to do when you see a phenomenon, for example. Can you observe what's happening around you? And then after observing, can you collect data systematically, okay, to answer maybe a question related to the phenomenon that you have observed? So after collecting data, can you analyze the data critically? And then after analyzing the data, can you make a conclusion based on your data analysis until you get a finding, okay? So this is another ability that we need to, lead, uh, to have in the 21st century. And financial literacy is an ability to, to uh, first is to earn money and then to manage the money or to manage the finance well, okay? So how can you survive? By earning money by yourself and also managing the money. So earning money is one thing and managing the money wisely is another, another thing that you need to have or you need to, to be able to. And as well as cultural and civic literacy. Cultural and civic literacy relates to your ability to live in diverse globalized culture. You know, because we are now living in digital era, so people can see each other almost every day through the technology. Okay, you can have video conference using lots of platforms, for example. You can update anything happening outside of your hometown easily you now using technology. So because of we are not living in a small in a small world equipped by the technology, we need to have an ability how can we, for example, tolerate the difference that we see? How can we respect the differences, respect other people? So this is part of literacy in the context of cultural and civic literacy. However, in this presentation, I'm not going to talk much about scientific, financial, and cultural and civic literacy. I'm going to focus on ICT literacy because this is the thing that is related to digital literacy. So apart from these foundational literacies, a World Economic Forum also mentioned some competencies people need to have in the 21st century. It includes critical thinking, problem solving, creativity, communication, and collaboration skills. And what are characters that you need to have or what kind of character qualities you need to have to be able to survive and live in the 21st century successfully. This include curiosity, initiative, persistence, adaptability, leadership, social and cultural awareness. But again, I'm not going to discuss more much about this in this presentation. I'm going to come back to ICT literacy. I think in a nutshell, I can say to live and to survive and to success, to be success in this 21st century, you need to have a lot of skills or a lot of literacies in this case. Okay? Being able to read and write is one thing, but do not stop there. Yeah, you need also to be able to master other skills. So in this presentation, thing that you need to have is digital literacy, or related to ICT literacy, information, communication, and technology. All right, so this is from World Economic Forum. Yeah, so in World Economic Forum 2015, yeah, so we have discussed about that. And then I think we just keep this. So ICT literacy, it's called literacy digital. Yeah, as you can see here, 
Yeah, so this is what you are now, what we are now presenting. Now, the question is, what is digital literacy to be more specific? So if you look at this definition, digital literacy is the awareness, the attitude, and the ability of individuals to appropriately use digital tools and facilities <clears throat> to identify, access, manage, integrate, evaluate, analyze, and synthesize digital resources, and to construct new knowledge and to create media. So digital literacy is not only about your ability to use digital tools. You know, for example, if you have smartphone, it's not only an ability to use the smartphone, okay? But whether, but you also need to upgrade your ability, yeah, whether or if the smartphone can facilitate you to identify and to access and to manage, to integrate, to evaluate, to analyze and synthesize digital resources, okay? So for example, if you want to find in information using your smartphone, whether you can identify the information uh, effectively yeah, and also, if, uh, also uh, efficiently and whether you can access the information from your smartphone easily and how you manage the information and how you evaluate. Yeah, for example, if you get information from your smartphone are you going to ac accept the, in the information as it is, or you are trying to evaluate by asking, for example, is it correct? Uh, is it true? Or is it hoax? Or something like that, a, a critical question. So when you get a message in your WhatsApp group, for example, you need, to, uh, you need also to be able to evaluate the credibility or the validity of the news or the information that you have in your WhatsApp group. So when you can, or when you are able to evaluate that, oh, this is hoax, for example, that means you, you have got, or you have uh, got a, a part of digital literacy skill. In this case, is evaluating the information, okay? So digital literacy has a lot of things related to digital literacy, everyone, okay? So this is related to your awareness, your attitude, and your ability to use digital tools and facilitate the digital tools to identify, to access, to manage, to integrate, to evaluate, analyze, and synthesize digital resources, okay? Construct new knowledge and create media. So when you are able, for example, I'm now recording my presentation, so that means I'm practicing one of digital literacy skills in creating media. So I have the video now ready for you to listen, okay? That's part of digital literacy tool. Uh, that, that's part of digital literacy skills. All right. When we talk about digital literacy, this is in Bahasa Indonesia related to, or sometimes sometime people say it's also literacy information or information literacy, okay? So when we talk about literacy information in Bahasa Indonesia, this is an ability to access, to understand, to use, and again, to evaluate and create or to produce uh, information yeah responsibly and wisely okay all right and let's talk it let's talk about it in more specific what are the elements of digital literacy everyone so when we talk about digital literacy these are some skills related to digital literacy yeah i've mentioned that Digital literacy is related to your ability or our ability to find and select information. For example, when you use smartphone, how do you how do you get information from your smartphone? Maybe you can go to Google and search and use the search engine, right? So when you are able to find information using search engine, that means you have been practicing part of digital literacy skill. And then Another element of digital literacy is an ability to collaborate using digital tools. Do you know that there are many applications at the moment that can help you to work collaboratively online? So when you are writing a paragraph or when you are writing an essay, for example, you can write up the essay collaboratively with somebody else, maybe uh, based somewhere in another part of the world. Yeah, for example, you can use Google Doc to write collaboratively. 
So you don't have to see each other. You can just collaborate online. So that's part of digital literacy. And part of digital literacy also social and cultural understanding. As I said before, because we are not living in digital life, it's easy for us to see somebody, somebody else live. We can see the different culture, and then we can see uh, that people out there have their own, their own ways of life. So when you are living in the digital life, you need to have cross or socio and cultural understanding. Okay. And then part of digital literacy is also critical thinking and evaluation, as we have discussed and, uh, and defined before. When we talk about digital literacy, you need to have, uh, when you are finding and trying to find an, uh, an information, uh, you need to critically think and evaluate whether the information is valid, whether it is uh, uh, true or not, okay? If you are able to evaluate the information, that means you have been practicing the part of elements of digital literacy. So digital literacy is also about creativity of living in digital world, making use of digital tools to create content, for example. Okay. And it's also about functional skills, whether you can make use of digital tools to survive, for example, to make money. Okay. If you become, if you are, if you have a fast sorry if you have a social media for example instagram if you can make use of your instagram yeah, to be a telegram okay you get a lot of followers and you get some endor uh, endorsement for example and you get money from that so that means instagram has been functioned as as a tool to make money so that means that's good you have a digital one of the skill in digital literacy and also e safety yeah what does it mean e safety uh, as the one who, who is uh, digital literate, you need uh, to know that uh, what is happening in the internet sometimes is not safe. Okay, you know people can you know pe people can uh, steal your password, for example. So as the one who is living in digital world, you need to know how to uh, secure your password, and also uh, maybe you need to be very careful in. Uh, disclosing your personal information so do not uh, see, uh, do not put your personal information in public like your death of birth or your email address because sometimes it can bring some dangers for you okay and also digital literacy related to how you have an effective communication in digital tool uh, using digital tool okay so Again, looking at this diagram, digital, the elements of digital literacy, uh, there are a lot of things that uh, we need to be aware of in talking about digital literacy. I think, yeah, that's all my, sh my short introduction of this class. I hope you understand. And to follow up this, uh, to follow up this presentation, can you please look at my instruction in your Google Classroom? So there are some activities that you need to follow up, yeah, related to my explanation. So thank you for listening to me, everyone. Okay, please say something or comments in the in the comment box after listening to my presentation. Yeah, to show me that you have finished listening to my presentation. So this is a proof that you have been listening to my class. I know this is a pre-recorded video, but I consider this as a replacement of my explanation in your class. Thank you for listening. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.